If you're in the market for a battery electric vehicle, this 2020 Tesla Model 3 Standard Range Plus is a great choice. Uh, I'm a big fan of Tesla products. I own a 2019 uh, Standard Range Plus, very similar to this. It's also black. Uh, I love my Tesla. Also, as a used car manager at Infinity of Tacoma, uh, since I have to buy, you know, one of my jobs is to buy cars for inventory, I bought to buy lots of Teslas. So we always have about 10 pre owned Teslas in stock. We've had a few hundred over the years come through our store so we're pretty familiar with them. maybe not as familiar as tesla is but i think versus other car dealerships you have a pretty good knowledge about the tesla products uh, obviously i'm very impressed with them because i bought one myself uh so this is a model 3 standard range plus it's rear wheel drive so it just has a motor in the back uh you have a fully charged range of about 250 miles uh but for everyday miles it's about 200 miles the reason being is that Tesla, and you know, it's the case with uh, most other battery electric vehicles that have lithium ion batteries. Lithium ion batteries don't like to be charged to 100%. So, for daily use, Tesla recommends you charge uh, to 80 90%. You can use a slider, and you can also use your Tesla app, and that will limit the amount of charge there is in the battery. And uh, lithium ion batteries, they don't like to be charged to 100% every day. It's not good for the batteries, and obviously, you want to get the longest life out of your batteries. You have a substantial warranty on the drive units and batteries, 10 years, over 100,000 miles. Uh, so there's a lot of remaining balance of warranty in the batteries. The batteries really aren't designed to ever be replaced like an engine in a car. They're designed to last the service life of the engine, hopefully 200, 300,000 miles. Um, so that's why they have that slider, but you know, if you need to go on a road trip, maybe you're gonna go drive to Spokane or Portland. Uh, if you need max range, and for ever, uh, occasional road trips, it's okay to occasionally charge it to 100%. That won't hurt the battery. Just charging it to every day uh, can degrade the battery faster. So for those long trips, you can charge it to 100% to get maximum range. We have a fantastic uh, supercharging network. No one really can come close to Tesla's proprietary supercharging network. You can use a, a navigation system to locate not just superchargers, but also uh, regular chargers as well. Uh, there's two superchargers within six miles of us, and no matter where you live, they're, they're all over the place. That, you know, Tesla has about 30,000 superchargers. The more majority of them are in the United States. So you can pretty much travel almost anywhere in this Tesla, uh, and you'll be able to you know, fast charge it so you can get to your destination. So right now, we're actually in Tacoma. Um, we have about 94 miles of changing uh, charge. We're going to put this in the charger after we're done with this video. So we have 94 miles of charge. Let's say I, on a whim, I want to drive all the way across the state, you know, to Spokane, which is well over 200 miles. So I just put that in the uh, navigation system and the car will figure out for you. So it knows I only have 94 miles of range. So it will tell me I need to charge at North Bend. Um, I'll arrive with 8%, I'll charge for 30 minutes, and I'll charge in Moses Lake. I'll arrive with 12%, uh, percent. I'll charge for 50 minutes, and then I'll make it to Spokane with a 15% range. And it's always good to navigate to the supercharger, even though, if you know where it is, because you can see right now that little uh, snowflake there, that means the battery is cold. So the battery is not going to be very efficient when it's cold uh, for operating the vehicle or for charging it. So right now, it's heating up the battery so it will charge faster. Um, you can also do like a scheduled departures daily uh, on your Tesla app uh, So you can you know whether it's weekends every day uh, You can schedule departures so your vehicle will prepare itself will warm up the battery um, And it will uh, be ready for your departure. So you'll have the most efficient driving uh, When you're ready to use it pretty cool stuff uh, You know Tesla's in a completely <laughs> different league as far as you know over their updates and user interface in my opinion um, I haven't seen any vehicle with the level of depth this is almost like it was designed by um, Apple, and they're constantly uh, sending you know updates every month, improving it and adding features. Actually, you know, Teslas are one of the few vehicles that, even though they get older, in a lot of ways they get better and they get safer because they're constantly improving things and adding features to it. Uh, one update about a year ago was uh, they added a blind spot camera. So there's these uh, cameras and they're uh, in the fenders, and they didn't update. And now when you put the turn signal on, now you have blind spot cameras, and that's just a dr drop in the bucket. They have updates and the whole user interface is re redesigned. Um, they're adding uh, features like uh, they're adding uh, cool features like this has a, a megaphone. <laughs> Actually, there's people around. I won't do it here, but you can talk. You can put the megaphone on and you can talk through your uh, your car horn. Believe it or not, you can also you can play uh, media through your your, uh, your horn. So maybe if you're having like a picnic picnic or something, you can play a little ambient music through your horn. 
see it's uh, playing uh, the radio station I have on right now. Or you can kind of change the sound of the horn. Um, if you want to make your horn sound like a goat, you can do that. <laughs> kind of silly stuff. Um, you know, your car can play a Christmas light show. You have the silly whoopee cushions. They're constantly adding video games. You can even get on an Xbox style or controller and you know use that to play some of these games like Sonic the Hedgehog. You can watch Netflix, Hulu. This has a great audio system. In fact, <laughs> when you watch uh, movies and stuff, you actually get like a cinematic experience watching uh, Netflix and stuff inside the car. It's actually pretty, pretty remarkable. It sounds better than my uh, my home home theater system. Uh, really easy to use climate control system. Uh, you, it's like a tablet. <laughs> we have a uh, dog mode, camp mode, uh, heated seats. Uh, really cool stuff. Uh, you have voice commands. A lot of people complain about uh, having to go through the you know, the, the uh, screen to you know put on the windshield wipers and operate the climate control. Well, Tesla really doesn't want you to do that. You can just use voice commands. Wipers on one. So that, so that puts the wipers on. Wipers off. Make it cooler. So every time I say make it cooler, it'll decrease the temperature by three degrees. Make it cooler. Now keep on doing so. Heated seats off. There's 150 uh, different voice commands. So I see a lot of people that review Teslas and you know it's their first day driving it. So I guess you give them an excuse, but they're giving you bad information. Saying, oh, I don't like I have to swipe through all these menus to do that stuff. Well, you don't. You have 150 different voice commands. So you don't need to take your eyes off the road to operate this stuff. You just do the voice commands and a lot of these things you can you can uh, control. Pretty amazing stuff. Really crisp uh, backup camera. Oh, sorry, I put the blind spot camera on. <laughs> there we go. Look at that backup camera. Uh, really crisp display. We have a uh, sentry mode, which is a, a, a very advanced car uh, stuff to turn system. It will uh, flash the lights if people get close to it. They call them the Tesla beams. If you put a USB uh, stick in there, you can record people Every time someone gets near a car, we'll record them. So if someone damages or vandalizes or just gets near a car, you'll have a complete record of that. It will uh, record accidents. You can activate the traffic cam. So if you want to activate it, if someone's driving crazy, you can record it. Um, and then you can set it up so it'll just constantly record the last hour of driving. So if you want to save something or if you get in an accident or if you got pulled over and you think you were wrongly uh, accused of a ticket or speeding, yeah, it's all recorded on the Tesla. Uh, pretty amazing stuff, and I can just go on and on. <laughs> uh, I can just go on and on about <laughs> probably for like an hour talking about all this stuff. There's just so much to talk about, but of course you probably don't want to sit there for an hour and listen to, me, listen to me talk about it. But if you do, you can come in and we'll give you a full overview, or you can visit our YouTube page, and I have uh, lots of uh, videos regarding Tesla products. Even though the Tesla is a compact, you have a decent amount of interior space because the floor is completely flat. No transmission humps or tunnels, uh, drive shaft tunnels. Very, very different configuration because this is not built like a gas car, so it doesn't have the limitations. For instance, a lot of times they put uh, gas tanks right around here. Since there's no gas tank, you have extra storage, and the trunk is fairly large in its own right. Uh, the batteries provide a very low center of gravity, very low ro rollover risk. Uh, sports car like handling. In acceleration, 0 to 60, a little over 5 seconds. Top speed, 140 miles an hour. And you have more storage up here in the front, which is nice. It's also a safety feature. You have a crumple zone 60% larger than a gas car. Since there's no engine here, you have all this space to absorb uh, crash energy in a frontal collision. Um, I think uh, Tesla is very far ahead of everyone else as far as electric vehicle technology goes and user interface over their updates i really haven't seen anyone come close quite an amazing product thanks for watching this video hope to see you soon and have a wonderful day